Once you've made your initial drawing on the plate and protected the back of your plate with the use of parcel tape, you can now carefully immerse your plate in the acid, making a note of the time. The use of the parcel tape means that you can gently lower your plate into the acid. A soft ground etching like this will bite relatively fast. The bite that we're going to look at here is only a two minute duration. But you could think about doing a test strip first of all, testing the strength of the acid as well as the strength of the drawing by doing a strip for different times, a 30 second, a one minute, a two minute, a four minute, etc. This plate was only bitten for two minutes and then rinsed. Once rinsed and dried, you now can proceed to block out areas of the drawing with the use of stopping out varnish. The application of stopping out varnish can be done in different stages so that you produce different strengths of line. There's always the anticipation with this image, however, to work with Aquatint back into it. When one is applying stopping out varnish, you're stopping areas of the plate from biting further. So you could work with a series of different tonal layers, working from your lightest etch of maybe 30 seconds onwards. A hard ground etching, in comparison, will etch more slowly than a soft ground. This is because much less metal is exposed. Still, the use of the goose feather is taken over the surface of the plate to remove excess bubbles. You can also, of course, if you've got a big enough tray, etch two plates at the same time, or a larger tray even more, keeping a note on both. Again, this particular plate was etched for only a couple of minutes. Now the tonal work can happen. So after the application of an aquatint, having first degreased and cleaned your plate and removed any of the surplus grounds, you're now able to apply an aquatint rosin to the surface of the plate and fuse it. The aspiration of this image was to always work with Aquatint. So whilst the drawing is giving you some information and some ideas of tone, the Aquatint layers will build up other areas of tonal depth. So before you start the process, you can use the stopping out varnish to protect parts of the plate you want to remain as a white value. Immersing the plate in the acid for a few seconds will produce a tone that can then be removed, rinsed, dried, and then further applications of stopping out varnish added on. And this can be done to various different depths and times. You can look at the surface of the plate and get a fairly good idea of how that will translate itself into the finished print. But you never fully know until you've actually proofed your print. Once you've etched your plate and removed the stopping out varnish, which is done with white spirit and rag, you can then proceed to file the edges of your plate. This makes sure that the edges of the plate are cleanly cut, which will make them easy to wipe, but also they're not jagged, which could potentially cause damage to your blankets. It's also a case that if you ink up with a roller, those jagged edges can do damage to the roller. So it's really important that you keep those edges clean.